I was always going to get involved because Mickey's been very much a part of my musical life since the beginning. Mickey was successful before any of us were successful um, and shared it, shared it with all of us. Mickey was his own man. Mickey would only do the reason not a lot of people know about Mickey because that's the way Mickey wanted it. But those that needed to know knew and I knew and we loved him and uh, still can't figure out that he's not with us, you know. Myself and uh, myself and Garrett were talking a few minutes ago and we both realized that if Mickey had still, you know, been alive, he, still, he wouldn't have come to tonight. And uh, we both did talk about the fact that we might not come to honor Mickey. But then we thought, no, sod him, we are coming. Because we need to be here. Uh, this next one, uh, for Clive, Neil. And I had a phone call from Blue Weaver, too. Keyboard player with Amen Corn. He said uh, he wanted to be here, but that lucky bugger lives in Spain. So. I feel I ought to say something, you know, because it's, um, well, what can you say? Embark. I could never call him Mickey for some reason. So I, no, I didn't call him, well, I call him Twathead now and again, yeah. <laughs> but generally, I just called him M, and then that became Embark which was short for embarkation, which was long for M. So his name became Embark. And he sort of fitted him, I thought. Embark. He spoke to you, yeah. Tom. He spoke to me. He spoke to you. I know. He spoke to you more than he spoke to me. Do you think so? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he spoke when he right wasn't, When he wasn't going to join the band, he spoke to you. Say, tell Andy, I've got you in the back. Yeah, well, there is that, yeah. <laughs> Hell of a boy, wasn't he? <laughs> Hell of a boy, that's why we loved him, because he was a, he was an ordinary critter. He was really Can obstinate, but, Please but, Three cheers you know. for Ember! Yeah, yeah, let's get it for Mickey. <laughs> Let's do a uh, my own business. Mickey used to do this, and he used to tear the place apart. But, um, so I'll give it a go, because he used to sing it but out. E. Don't say kill my old peace. 
business. It's my own business. See, I don't wanna wanna tell you they don't ever know as much as you. If I was a d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d d interest you to know, or not, that um, Congo and Eddie here, uh, and myself, is when I first met Mickey, we were starting up a band, and we had some really great rehearsals, and then the day before the, we were supposed to put our rehearsals into um, practice, as it were, and get paid, he said, no, nah, I don't fancy it. <laughs> I knew what he meant. I mean, the band was great. It wasn't the band he had any truck with. He didn't like the, the band. Was great. The venue was, and, I, and he was, he was sort of right, wasn't he? Because um, when we stopped playing in that club, that's the last we saw of each other. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So he was sort of right. Yeah. 